this one time that we went down to Costa Rica because we had a tip that there was child sex trafficking going on down in Haco Beach. And we went down there and we went to this place, the Beetle Bar, and we were looking around and, you know, we didn't see any children who were being trafficked after about an hour. And so we were going to leave. And, and as we're getting ready to leave, I see this girl across the room who looks like she's about 12 years old. She was a tiny little thing. I mean, she couldn't have been five feet tall. And, and right as I spot her, I see this man making his way towards her who's like 6'8", 280 pounds, shaved head, just this huge man. And uh, so I beeline it over there, step in front of him, and I just quickly said, you know, how much for your time paid to take her out? And one other girl, and we get them across the street, and you know, we say, "Hey, look, we're not here for sex or anything like that. We just, you know, we want to just uh, share with you that you know, God loves you, and and He's got a plan for your life, and you know that kind of thing." And so, so we end up having this conversation with them, and we ask, you know, can we pray for you? We pray for them. The young girl, the twelve-year-old ish, starts crying, and after I, I'm done praying she stands in front of me and she starts saying this thing in Spanish over and over. And she got tears coming down her face. And I said um, to our translator, I said, you know, what's she saying? She said, she's saying, you're an angel. You're an angel. You're an angel over and over. And I said, well, ask her why she's saying that. And so the translator asks her and she says, he's an angel because tonight was my first night and he was my first customer. And I felt like God sent him here to, for me. And um, so situations like that where, you know, you don't, when you, like we talked about earlier, when you, we say yes, it's, it's a simple thing. And, um, you know, oftentimes we feel like we have to have the, the best plans, the most innovation, the wisest strategy, the most cutting edge social media, whatever. But, you know, God didn't choose the most educated or the most qualified. He just chose people who were going to say yes. Mm -hmm. And like, I feel so unqualified, but every time we say yes to something that feels too big, too, too, you know, too, the gravity is too intense, the situation too dangerous, whatever, whatever, we always see where God works in miraculous ways to bring about breakthrough. And um, it's not always what we think it will look like, but, uh, but, you know, we, every, every breakthrough is, uh, significant because we hold such a high regard for human life. And I think that's, that's the message of the gospel really is that all life is infinitely valuable. And so, you know, mother Teresa going, had I not picked up that one child in Calcutta, I never would have picked up the 40,000. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it was just a simple yes of like, I got to pick up this child because, this child needs a hug. And then, you know, your heart expands a little bit and then you pick up the next one and the next one and the next one. And, you know, Mother Teresa, when she's 15 years old, she wasn't Mother Teresa. She was just somebody who started to care yeah. because of the gospel about human life. And that's, that's all of our journeys. And so, um, we don't man it. We don't substantiate our work based on the breakthroughs, but they're awesome when they happen because all life is, so valuable.